Hi, I'm Pat Luke with Luke Photography and welcome to MacGyver's Corner. I hope to give you some tips and tricks on getting big budget results with low budget equipment. Today what we're going to do is make an eye lighter. Now you've seen these on uh, a lot of portrait shoots. It's a big round curved surface that reflects light to a subject from underneath. A lot of the time using modeling shots and things like that. They cost upwards of $500. They're very big. Uh, they don't store very well. If you have big studio space, it's not a problem. Uh, if you want to spend $500, it's not a problem. I have neither. I have a very small space, so what I had to do was make a very portable one that was compact, and, and this is the solution that I came up with. What you need to do, first of all, is get uh, this board. Now, this board is it's eighth inch thick. Um, certain stores sold by the name of Yucca Board, E-U-C-A Board. Um, I don't know if it comes from Yucca Door or where it comes from, but it's a very flexible board. It's not plywood. Plywood is meant to be rigid, so don't get plywood. Um, so this is this is the, 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 the shape that you're end up getting. This is the back of the board. Um, so I cut this in about two feet by four feet was the length here. Uh, if you buy the, these come in sheets of four by eight like plywood does, you can have them cut it at the store if you don't have the equipment to do it yourself. So I have that shape cut. Now I needed a way of mounting it to uh, my, my tripod, which is my stand. So what I did is, I, I'm a woodworker, I have a lot of scraps of wood left over, so I took a four inch square uh, piece of oak. Uh, you can use any, any piece of wood. Now the key to it uh, is, is this little insert. These are called insert nuts. You can insert your own joke there if you want to. But what they are, they're th pieces of um, uh, they're metal. They're threaded on the outside to fit into a hole that you're going to drill here. And the inside is threaded with a quarter 20 uh, socket. If you know anything about, anything about photography, you know that a quarter inch by 20 threads per inch is the side that your tripod screw and everything else that goes on the bottom of the camera. So it's very universal. So you need to drill a hole in the, in the wood, and then this gets screwed into the wood so that the threaded end just pokes out to the other side, like that. Uh, this, is, I mean, this is showing you how cross-section what it would look like. And then I took a tripod quick-release bracket, and I screwed it into there, and so now I have this secure on the back side. And this is what I end up with here. So I painted the back of this black, or dark gray. I glued the block to the wood, the, the flexible board. Then I went around the other side and actually put screws and actually screwed it in here uh, to make it very, very secure. Because uh, I don't think the glue will hold uh, because of the flexible material. Then you have to apply something very reflective to the front. Now my prototype, I just used white paint and it wasn't very reflective. This material is just uh, a space blanket. I bought it at Walmart for a couple bucks. Now you need a couple people to help you as you're doing this. I sprayed the wood with a spray adhesive, sprayed the back side of, uh, of the space blanket with adhesive, and then I had two people lift it up and lay it down just so it's just above the surface of the wood, and then you just merely start spreading it. Uh, from the center, work your way towards the ends, and then, you know, the wrinkles in here are okay. It actually softens the light up a little bit. So that's really all there is to making the board. Now, the if I, and then all you simply do is just mount it onto the tripod, and that's, that's got the mounting for it. Okay, now I have it in shape. Now, it doesn't work very well like that. We have to have it as a curved surface. So what I did was I took on either end of the, of the board, just cut a very small slot, just use a, a hand saw, cut a slot there, cut the slot on either side. Now I can either push this up from the bottom, and that's the way the retail one is made, but it's permanently curved like that, and I didn't want to do that. Or you can pull it up from the top. There's two ways, you can push or pull. I chose to pull it up from the top, and what I did is I took something very invisible, which is fishing line. Uh, the first time I did it, I used 8-pound uh, monofilament, which a single strand stretched it up. That one failed miserably. Uh, it broke, and the sides started flapping. I'm going to have flashbacks for about a month afterwards. Then I braided three strands of the 8-pound test together. That was good, but I don't recommend uh, braiding fishing line. It took me forever, and I almost went blind doing it. So I went out and bought this really heavy 30-pound test. It's meant for trolling. It's very, very strong. Tied two washers to the ends. And then all I did is simply take the washers, fed the line through, and then as you stretch it up, attach it on both ends, and now I have curved 
and I can rotate that anyway. If I obviously I'm the subject, I'm going to turn around and it's going to go towards me. This is probably a little higher. Now you're going to light somebody with a big light source above this. It's going to shine down and it's going to also reflect light up from the bottom. Uh, you can rec you know this the distance of the string is basically how much you want to curve this at all. It's a very reflective surface, very highly efficient, and it works extremely well. I would, you know, you still may be able to see the string here. You can simply retouch it in Photoshop or angle it or lower enough or crop it close enough so you really don't see that. Um, I made this one for actually zero dollars because I had everything already here. I had the wood, uh, I had the space bank, I had all the material. It would cost you much more than twenty dollars to buy everything, uh, to buy the, the insert nuts, the, the fishing line, everything else. You can make it less than twenty dollars, and it's really not that difficult. So I saved four hundred eighty dollars, and as you can see, it's all portable. It puts up against the wall, and it works very well. I already had the tripod, so I didn't have to buy any new equipment. Thank you for watching. I hope you tune back again for more podcasts from MacGyver's Corner. Thank you.